Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then hit the subscribe, hit the bell and then get notified when I put my next video up. This is a place where you're going to find easy recipes to prepare. So I want to show you this prawn salad. We're hitting entertaining season so we're going to have people around so I want to show you this really easy tasty little number just to uh, have on the table and for people to help themselves. So. It's prawns, mango, avocado, tomato salsa, a bit of chili through there, and then using my spice mix, I'm just gonna marinate some prawns in some spiced yogurt, and then we can grill those either on the pan, or if you're lighting the barbie, then you can just throw them on the barbecue. So um, let's just get straight into it. So to kick this one off, I've already peeled my prawns. So there was a kilo originally of these extra large prawns, and then I've got my shells. So so we're not wasting the shells, what I'm gonna do with them is throw them in a pan, we're gonna cook them down, then we're gonna add some oil, cook them in the oil for a little bit, and then leave it to cool. Afterwards, we're gonna put that oil into some yogurt for a prawn oil yogurt, and that's just gonna finish off the dish. So we can do that straight off. Just put it on a low heat, throw them in, leave them cooked down, and then afterwards we can add the oil. While that's cooking down, we can just make a little spiced yogurt for our prawns to marinate in. So what I'm going to do is I've got my Jaipur mix that I um, make. If you want to buy some, I'll link that down in the description below. So what I'm going to do is go with a tablespoon of that mix. So if you haven't got this or you haven't got a spice mix, you can just use like garam masala, a bit of curry powder, ginger and garlic in there, and that will be good to go. So I've got some ginger. So that can go in, just about a teaspoon. And then the same with some garlic. With a clean spoon, we can get a few tablespoons of yogurt. So one, we just need enough to cover the prawns. So I'm gonna go with about four. So a pretty generous coating, but not drowning them in it. And then we can just mix that up and then afterwards we can just add it accordingly just to see how we go. So if you just give this a few minutes, as long as you can really, just to develop some flavor, but you can just go straight over if you need to. So I'm just gonna put, it's about two and a half tablespoons there to start with, and we're just gonna see how this coats it. And that's actually a pretty nice coating. So. That will be good. So all of this can be done ahead of time and then you can just grab your prawns and get them cooking. So you could even serve it cold if you wanted to. If you wanted to do it all ahead of time, then you could, but it's just nice to have that cold refreshing salsa and then that warm to hot prawn on top that's just come off the barbie. So just give these enough time to marinate. So you can just cover those and they can go straight into the fridge. Just keep an eye on your prawns and give them a mix. I didn't put any oil or anything in the pan. I'm just like breaking them down straight as, and then afterwards we can add that oil. Just want them to dry out first to get rid of that moisture. So I've got a nice bit of color on my prawns now. So I'm just gonna go in with some olive oil. So we don't need very much. It's just to give it a really intense flavor. So probably just a couple of shots will be plenty. And we're just gonna leave that cooked down then for five to seven minutes just to uh, get loads of prawn flavor into that oil. And then we're gonna leave it sit and then we'll drain it off. So next up is the asparagus, which I'm just gonna blanch and then we're gonna refresh it in ice water. So by cooking it really quickly in salted water and then putting it into ice water, that's just gonna keep it really, really green. So with these, I just break off the the bottom of it. I'm gonna cut my asparagus in half now. So I just do that at the angle. So it just looks a bit nicer when we put it on the plate. And then I've already seasoned my water. So I'm just gonna drop that in and I'm just gonna blanch those for about a minute and a half and then take them out straight into ice water. So while I'm cooking my asparagus, I'm just gonna drain this off just to make sure we're getting all the oil well drained off the prawns because it will get stuck in the head. So you need to give it a good amount of time just to drain off. And then we can, once it's cool, we can make up our prawn oil yogurt. 
So that is that. So these are almost ready. So they can go straight into the ice water. And you can see this is a really nice dark color. Okay. So I've drained off my asparagus just to make sure there's no water there. So you can just keep on draining that because you don't want to uh, have any water like dripping onto your leaves. And then this is draining. So just give it a bit of a press if you need to, just to make sure you're getting all the oil out. And then we can make up our yogurt. So with a small bowl, we don't need very much of it. A couple of tablespoons will be plenty. And then just gonna pour in a bit of the oil. So this oil is going to make the yogurt thinner. So then afterwards it will just coat it much more easily than a thick yogurt so don't worry about adding it too much and the sauce becoming thin you can make a little salsa with the tomato chilies and the mango and then at the very last minute we're going to throw through the avocado because the avocado will oxidize so you don't want to add it too early you can add some lemon juice to slow it down but it's still going to oxidize so just leave that for the last minute so for the tomatoes, all I'm going to do is cut them into quarters. And then I'm just going to do a brunoise of chili. So you can just slice down the middle of the chili, remove all the seeds. And then you're going to just put them into a fine dice. That can go in with the tomatoes and then I'm going to go in with the mango. So you can see the stone is on this side where it is. So I'm only going to use about half of this. It's just to give it a bit of sweetness. So you can just run down the side of the stone and then you can score it now. And this is a great way just to eat your fruit if you're going to do it like this, because then you can just twist it out like that and then eat it that way. So it makes it much easier. So I'm just going to cut that in the middle so then I can run along the skin. And that way I can just get my cubes straight out really easily without making any mess. That is everything ready. So let's do our avocado. So you just run the knife around the middle and then twist. So I'm just going to use this half so we can just score it. And then with a spoon, we can just pop those bits out. Give that a mix. And then we're gonna get everything ready so the prawns can just go straight on when they're ready. Because so for the salad, I'm just gonna literally lay them down. I'm not gonna break them or anything. Because what I'm thinking is each leaf will get a prawn on there and it's gonna get some salsa and it will get some of the prawn oil yogurt. So people can just come along and break them, fold it in half, and then eat it that way. So I've removed the tails because I want this to be, you know, when people are socializing, mingling around. So I don't want the tails because otherwise there's nowhere to put them. So that's why I've removed the tails on this one. So everything will be in there. They can just fold it over and then it's really easy to eat with something in this hand and a drink in the other. So I'm just gonna lay it out. We're gonna keep it really, really simple. Just fan them out. And then afterwards, we can just stack it up and the prawns are just going to fall where they fall. And then if there's leaves left over, then that's just the way it's gone. So you can just throw these in and then over with the salsa.
the asparagus can go over so that green pop is going to be nice anyhow you can do it it's fine and then just a couple of cheeky cheeks of lemon to go on the side so they can go in and then I'm just going to use this part to finish off the prawns when they're ready okay so all that's left to do is cook the prawns so we're just going to fire up the pan and then I'm going to season these now so I didn't want to season them before because it will extract the moisture out of them and then give it a mix and then a touch of oil in the pan and then once you've got the heat in there you can just start putting the prawns in so what's a good idea is lay them in lines and then once you've got them all in, you can actually come back to the first one and flip it over. So you know they're all getting an even cook. Running out of space. Wow, they smell fantastic. And then we've got some nice color on there. We can just flip them over. then once they're almost there we can turn the heat off bring them over and then I'm just gonna squeeze over this lemon juice and then we can just put them straight onto the plate and remember you don't need to cook them all the way through because you're gonna have that heat in there so they're just gonna continue on cooking And that is an awesome salad for when, when you're having your mates over, just to throw down in the middle of the table, because they will be really happy with this one, I tell you. So, that's it. And then we can just drop some of this over, just to finish it off. And then if you've got some coriander or some watercress or something, you can just finish it off with that. I reckon that that looks pretty, pretty tasty. And have a look at that. So anyone that you put that down in front of is gonna be a happy camper. So give that one a go. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, do all of that stuff. And until then, happy cooking, and I'll see you in the next one.